don't support. I think they're destroying the black man. They're destroying the black family. I think they're ruining our country. And if you're living in New York like I am, man, this place is a financial nightmare, not to mention crime. I think if we put Trump back in there, man, it's going to be amazing. Kamala cannot do what he's so going to do to bring this country back to where it needs to be. And it's so unsurprisingly, Charlemagne from The Breakfast Club has come out and endorsed Kamala Harris. Classic film uh, by Mike Judge. Um, you previously, Charlemagne, you previously called both Joe Biden and Donald Trump trash candidates, and you said... You would vote in this election, but you would not endorse Biden. Uh, now that he's out, do you think you might endorse Vice President Kamala Harris should she get the nomination? Um, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um... So obviously nobody is shocked by that, but it is kind of funny because you remember when Joe Biden was the candidate, Charlemagne was saying, I'm going to vote for him kind of, but I'm not really going to go out and endorse him because I kind of want to stay out of the race. And then immediately the moment that Kamala Harris becomes the candidate, he's like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I will endorse her. But it turns out that a lot of the viewers of The Breakfast Club do not necessarily share his opinions because recently he did a call in show where they were discussing the new change in candidate and some of his own viewers completely tore Kamala Harris apart and kind of ripped in even to him for endorsing her. So we're going to react to that today, folks. If you enjoy the content, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you are new. And without further ado, here are the viewers of The Breakfast Club tearing into Kamala Harris and Charlemagne melting down and coping over it. Check it out. I can't believe I made it. Oh my God. Good morning. Good morning, Good Iris. Girl. What's your thoughts, mama? Okay, so first let me say, I'm so happy to see a woman running for president, and I'm grateful for that. However, does that mean, I was on a fence even with Biden running again, because everyone talks about, oh, let's get the black vote, let's get the black vote, and they get the black vote and nothing changes. And when I say nothing, I mean our education system. Our children are suffering in New York City public schools. And let's talk about services. My brother's paraplegic. He got hit by a drunken driver. It's very hard for him to get services. And I understand that they allow the migrants to come in, but they come in and they just overwhelmed them with services and they forget about the people that are already here so what by the way that was kamala harris's very job she was the border czar number one and then number two let's also not pretend i mean let's be honest about it the only real difference is that charlemagne's now endorsing kamala because you know what fill in the rest okay they oh my gosh you can't say that no that's the truth it's like it's racist quote unquote when conservatives call her a dei hire but when biden in 2020 said she was hiring her because of dei and then now people are endorsing her that word endorsing Biden because of DEI suddenly that whole game changes but no I mean some interesting points here right what's going to change with that what are they going to do with the black agenda to help our children that's struggling in New York City public schools they're Nothing. not even on the same level as other kids in other countries and that's what my concern is so is something going to change because Kamala's running instead no. of Biden like help me out we're confused here well those, those are all valid questions a lot of those Mama. things you uh, named are local issues though yeah, like that stuff. Like, you should be going to your local government with. Yeah. Hello, who's this? That's just cope. That, that's just a complete cope answer. You know what? How about this? Kamala Harris used to be a local politician. Remember that once upon a time? What did she do? What did she do, Charlemagne? Okay. You know, if anything, I, I would think someone like you should be arguing if you're going to attack Biden for the 94 crime bill, then shouldn't you be criticizing Kamala for very similar past stances on crime? I'm not even necessarily saying it's bad to be tough on crime, but according to you, it is. So where's the consistency there? Hello? Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What's your name, yeah. bro? My name's Callie. What's up? Good morning. How y'all doing? Callie, good morning. What's your thoughts, brother? Callie. Hey, man, I just want to say y'all the goat. Y'all been helping me survive mornings for a decade now from college to work. So I just want to say that. We um, old. We old, so baby. Let's go. Man. Thank you, Kevin. Or, just not. Just new. But we <laughs> old. We can't be old. <laughs> hey, man, oldness is greatness, you know? You already anyway, know. I don't think America is ready. I don't think America is ready for a female president. You know what? I'm a black man, and I absolutely do not want another uh, Democratic president in there. I think we should give the Republicans another try. <laughs> Folks, now the funny part about this is this is clearly not a Republican troll because he says, I've been a fan of the show, you know, I love you guys, but maybe we should give the Republicans a ch You love to see it. You love to see it. A lot of agendas that the, 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 Dem the Democratic Party has kind of put in, into place that I don't support. I think they're destroying the black man. They're destroying the black family. I think they're ruining our country. <laughs> and if you're living in New York like I am, man, this place is a financial nightmare, not to mention crime. I think 
if we put Trump back in there, man, it's going to be amazing. Kamala cannot do what he's so going to do to bring this country back <laughs> to where it needs to be. And this is not a race thing, because that's the number one thing they like to say when they talk about Trump and how he's a criminal and blah, 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 blah. I don't think any of that matters. His policies what we need to focus on, and he's going to get us back where we need to go. Kamala is not ready. So the president has endorsed by... Yeah, it's just hilarious. Yeah, it's just hilarious to watch. And I'm curious to see how Charlemagne justifies to himself not endorsing Biden, but fully endorsing Kamala if it's not literally the fact that, oh, she's a black woman, so I support. Because, uh, you know, Charlemagne's critical of the border crisis. That was Kamala Harris's job. If you want to say, oh, well, you know, Joe Biden has this past record of uh, incarcerating people, so does Kamala Harris. What, what, what's the argument? So with that said, let's tune back into Charlemagne on CNN because I actually want to hear what he has to say in terms of why he is suddenly fully endorsing Kamala the moment that she's the candidate, but wouldn't do the same for Biden. So let's take a listen to his actual explanation. I'm curious. I'm curious. You know, I, I absolutely would endorse Vice President Kamala Harris. You know, I supported Kamala Harris in 2020 when she ran for president. You know, I was out there on the campaign trail with her. You know, um, she was the only reason that I voted for the, the Biden Harris ticket to begin with. And, you know, we have our, you know, disagreements on air and off air. But I, I think that, you know, she is the perfect person you know, to, to 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 be in these, to fight in these unprecedented times right now. So, and yeah. so it, there, there's like no reason. Because <laughs> I listen to that. And I'm, okay, so but but please explain, Charlemagne. I mean, I really want to know what's the difference in your eyes between Kamala and Biden if it's not literally that. You know, I mean, what's what's the honest reason? And Charlemagne, in your new book, you write. Jake, I, Jake, I don't even know if that's the right question. You know, people, you know, asking if if America's ready for a prosecutor. I mean, is America ready for? You know, uh, somebody with all of the criminal charges that Donald Trump has. You know, right. I mean, in, in, in most jobs, most convicted felons can't even, you know, get get those kind of jobs that Donald Trump is currently campaigning yeah, for. They, they barely up. can get jobs at McDonald's. They barely can get jobs at McDonald's and Walmart. So it's it's it's, it's weird. That kind of, it's weird to have to say, you know, uh, is America ready for a prosecutor? No, is America ready to elect a criminal? Joining us. I mean, okay, but again, the, just the sheer inconsistency, the hypocrisy here, it's totally incoherent, okay? So Charlemagne can't really name the policy reasons why he supports Kamala Harris, but then, you know, he's talking about the question, oh, Kamala Harris is a prosecutor. Again, Charlemagne, I thought you were against that stuff. I thought you were on the side of the criminals. I thought you supported the, I, I'm just like, I'm not even saying I agree with you. I'm just saying by your own logic, you know, it doesn't really make sense why, you were so anti-Biden for the most part, like you were going to vote for him over Trump, but you just couldn't stand him. But then with Kamala Harris, suddenly it's so, so different, right? Because whatever angle you want to take here, I, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense because of your central qualm with the Democrat Party as this like black power guy is they're all they're also part of the establishment. They also incarcerate black people, blah, blah, blah. Well, Kamala Harris is both an establishment Democrat she does coddle the progressives more than maybe Biden did. That is true. But at her core, you look at where she comes from. You look at her history in politics, still part of the Democrat establishment. And then on top of that, you know, you want to talk about, oh, the racist crime policies or whatever. You know, that like that's that's who she was in your according to your definitions, right? As a uh, as a prosecutor, as the attorney general and all that. So this doesn't make any sense. This really doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know. Folks, if you would like to help us come up with the answer as to why exactly Charlemagne is so behind Kamala Harris when he was not behind Biden, feel free to let me know. But with that said, uh, be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Charlemagne, we don't know. But until next time, God bless and peace.